Today I'm going to give you my version of building the GT Super Lace hubs. This is a 36 hole, but the same applies for building the 48 hole versions. Just a uh, wheel building tip. Uh, always use a, a bar of stope, run your spokes across it, just lubricates up the spokes and stops them from freezing inside the nipples once you've built the wheel. Now with the, uh, with the wheel we're going to start lacing from the inside of the hub on the outside hole. You'll see the holes are, are offset. Uh, starting with the first hole, fill all the holes around the hub. Okay, once that's done we're going to find the the, the valve hole on the rim and we're going to start on the first hole to the left of the valve hole. So any spoke in that hole, like that. Once you've got that done, take the next spoke in the, in the hub and put it to the fourth hole in the rim. After you've done that, then each spoke in every fourth hole until you get back to the valve hole. Okay, once you've done that, take your uh, a single spoke, flip the wheel over, and from on the, the same side, put one spoke through any of the holes. Turn the wheel back, and then what you want to do, locate the valve hole again, and you need to rotate the hub away from the valve hole. Then, with the spoke you've just put back through, you need to go over the first two spokes, under the third spoke, and into the middle hole. There we have it. Once again, turn the hub over. The spoke that you've just put in, go to the opposite side of the flange, and just put another spoke in. Twist it back, and again, over the first two spokes, under the third spoke, and into a middle hole. That just helps hold the wheel in place while you do the rest of the spokes. Okay, with your last seven spokes for that side, again, tip the wheel over and fill all the vacant holes until you get to the end. Uh, there we have it. Once again, starting with any spoke, over Cross over to under the, under the third in the middle hole. Work your way around the rim until all the spokes are, uh, are done. Now that side's complete. The important part is working out which is the correct hole to use for the other side of the flange to ensure that the pattern is, uh, is correct and you're not crossing the valve hole. The easiest way is to use the second spoke to the right of the valve hole as your guide. Now, looking at, from, at the hub from the uh, spoked side, you'll see that that spoke has a hole that is just a touch in front of it on the other flange. Once you've determined the, the correct hole, put your spoke through from the, from the back, bring it around and put it into the first hole to the right after the valve hole. Now you've got your guide spoke in, you want to take your next eight spokes and fill every second outside hole. Uh, there we have it. Now starting at the guide spoke, go to every fourth spoke hole and work your way around to the end. Right, there we have it. Now you're going to take your last group of nine spokes. Once again, flip the wheel over and fill all the vacant holes with your spokes. Okay, now we've got the last uh, group of spokes in. It's uh, just as simple as following the original pattern, going over two spokes under one and in the vacant hole. So I'll do that with the first spoke. And then follow the pattern right around to the end. Of now we have a correctly built super lace. Uh, spokes just need to be tightened and the wheel trued. That's it. Thanks for watching.